Good day everyone, this is Mom Aduko and this tutorial video I will be discussing a statement of financial position. A statement of financial position is one of the four financial statements that a business management must prepare at the end of the period or at the end of the year. And we go to first to our learning objectives. Okay, so our first learning objectives at the end of this lesson you will be able to explain the uses and limitations of a statement of financial position then our second learning objectives identify the major classifications of the statement of financial position and before I go to my discussion, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Bright Mind. Click like and push the notification buttons for new tutorial videos. Hey guys, I prepare a quick activity for you to perform. And the title of this activity is my personal statement of financial positions and in this activity you will create or prepare your own personal statement of financial positions so the first thing you need to do is of course you have to get a piece of paper okay and then write down your current savings and everything that you own the money that you had in your piggy bank or the money inside your atm your clothes pen pencils jewelries your mobiles and then write the amount that you owe to your friends family members parents okay so the amount that you borrowed from them and then the next is deduct the amount you borrowed from the amount you own and then associates the amounts owned with assets and amount borrowed with liabilities with the net amount as equity and then try to answer the second questions what is the importance of the SFP so I hope you learned something from this activity and what is the difference between assets and liabilities statement of financial positions as I have said earlier statement of financial position is one of the four financial statements that the company management must prepare at the end of the year or period statement of financial position is also referred to as the balance sheet okay so the sap gives understanding to its financial users and who are those financial users For example the investors the creditors or the banks or the management about the financial status of the business at that particular point of time take note the word particular point of time and act as snapshots of the financial positions of the company so statement of financial positions reports okay so what are they going to reports okay so it will reports the assets the liabilities and the equity at a specific date and statement of financial positions also provides informations okay so what are those informations okay informations about the resources 
the obligations to the creditors and the equity in net resources and then statement of financial positions also predicts okay so it helps in predicting the amounts timings and uncertainty of future cash flow we already have an idea what is a statement of financial position now we go to the usefulness of the statement of financial position okay so what are the usefulness of the sfp okay so the first is computing rates of return so what do you mean by rates of return so it is the loss or gain of an investment over a certain period expressed as a percentage of the initial cost of the investment so if the ror or the rates of return is expressed in negative okay negative percentage it means the company is losing and then if the ror or the rates of return is positive it means the company is profitable okay so that is one of the usefulness of the sfp so another usefulness of the sfp is evaluating the capital structure okay so when we speak of capital structure so it is the funding of the company to finance its overall activities example of um, financial activities like the productions of the raw materials or the acquisitions of long-term assets okay so that is um, financial activity so the company can either use equity capital or debt capital okay so another usefulness usefulness of the sfp is assessing the risk and future cash flows what are those risks okay like example um, the bad debts or the uncollectable accounts from customers or the um, company's assets is tied on the long-term assets like the PPE and the company is not solvent enough or to pay its obligations to the creditors or the company is not liquid or they don't have uh, enough money on hand to pay okay and then future cash flows what does it mean future cash flows is the total amount of money being transferred into and out of a business okay so example of cash inflows collectable amounts or the accounts receivables the sales example of cash outflows are okay so the one you pay to the creditors or the company acquired um, property through cash another usefulness of the ssp is analyzing the company's liquidity okay so liquidity refers to a company's ability to pay its bills from cash or from assets that can be turned into cash very quickly okay so it means um, how quickly the company will convert its assets to cash so example of assets um, accounts receivable okay so how quickly the company will be able to collect accounts receivable from the customers 
and another examples are the inventories okay so there are three types of inventories the raw materials work in process and finished product so how liquid or how quickly the company will convert those inventories into cash so, so that is what um, that is what it means by liquidity and then another is to analyze the company's solvency so solvency is the company's ability to pay its obligations when they come in due so by the time the creditors start knocking at the door at the doors so will the business be able to pay its obligation and also it means the ability to continue in business and then another is analyzing the financial flexibility of the company so it is the ability to respond to unexpected needs like example in our time now okay so, um, we are in covid pandemic okay so you can hear from the social media news that uh, more companies now are closing and filing for bankruptcy so most of the companies so those companies they are not well prepared or they are not flexible in the time of unexpected needs and also opportunities like example big events or celebrations okay so these are the usefulness of the statement of financial position what are the limitations of the statement of financial position most assets and liabilities are reported at historical cost so when we speak of historical cost it is the original cost at the time of transactions okay, and then another limitations of the statement of financial positions the use of judgments and estimates and then many items of financial values are omitted like example we have here um, employees okay so employees is considered values but they are not found in the balance sheets what are the elements of the statement of financial positions okay so the elements of the financial positions the assets the liabilities and the equity okay so if you're going to observe closely we can see the statement of financial position is based on the accounting equations okay so do you remember what is the accounting equations assets equals liabilities plus the owner's equities assets so what are assets so assets are the economic resources of or value that is owned by a business that will bring future benefits liabilities are the legal obligations that a business is required to pay to its creditors and equity is the owner's interest or claim to the assets of the business so these are the elements of the statement of financial positions assets liabilities and equity
Now we go to the classifications in a statement of financial positions. As I have discussed earlier, statement of financial position is a report based in the accounting equations. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Okay, so we can see the assets on the left side. Okay, then while the liabilities and the owner's equity is on the right side. So what are the elements under these major accounts? Okay, so under the assets, we have the current assets. And this will be discussed on the other video. And then the long-term investments. And then the PPE or the property, plant, and equipment. And then the intangible assets. And then the other assets. Okay, so if the company is a corporation, so you can find these other assets accounts. And then under the liabilities and owners equity, so these are the accounts. Current liabilities, then the long-term debts, and then the owner's equity. So under the owner's equity are the capital stock or the owner's investment. Then the additional paid in capital and the retained earnings or the accumulated net income of the company. Okay, so this is how statement of financial positions of the company looks like. Okay, so this will be further discussed in another video. In every financial statement, one must not forget to incorporate a proper heading in the financial reports. Okay, so we can see here in the screen, the first line, the XYZ code, is the name of the business entity. And in the third line, we can see the title of financial statements. And in the third line, we can see the date of the financial statements. Okay, we can read as of December 31, 20 current year. So you may ask why as of. Okay, because it shows the financial conditions at a point of time. Okay, so of the four financial statements, only the statement of financial positions use the word as of so the other three financial statements use the word for the period okay so you'll be wondering why as of because the amounts in the statement of financial positions are permanent or they are all permanent accounts meaning that the amounts are cumulative from the beginning of the life of the company and these accounts so and these amounts will be carried forward in the next period unlike the temporary accounts okay so the temporary accounts will not be carried to the next period so that's why the word as of december 31 20 current year because it shows the financial conditions at a specific date so on this date december 31 20 current year i have here an example of statement of financial position in a report 
form. So we can see at the top is the heading, the name of the business entity. Then we can see the title of the financial statements. And then the date of the financial statements. And then the assets is classified into two major accounts current assets and non-current assets and not only the assets also the liabilities are classified into two current liabilities and the non-current liabilities okay so this is a classified statement of financial positions Okay, so we you can see under current assets so these are the the accounts or the elements and then under the non-current assets and then on the liabilities under the current liabilities you can see the accounts and then the non-current liabilities with its accounts so these classifications will be discussed further in the next video try to look closely in these financial statements don't forget to write the PESO sign and use single rule for every addition or subtraction okay I'll show you like example accounts receivable less allowance for doubtful accounts okay use the single rule and then the double rule okay every time you come up with the final amount I mentioned earlier that the accounts found in the statement of financial positions is permanent accounts or a real account. So there are classifications of accounts, permanent or real account, and the other one is the temporary or nominal account. Okay, so what do you mean by permanent or real account? So these are the balance sheets accounts whose balances are carried forward from year to year. Example are uh, example of permanent accounts are cash inventories accounts receivables. Okay, so they are found in the statement of financial positions. So why they are called permanent? They are called permanent because their accounts are retained permanently in the SFP until their balances become zero. And then we go to temporary or nominal accounts. By temporary or nominal accounts. So these are the accounts that are cleared at the end of the accounting period and are not carried forward from year to year. So you can find temporary or nominal accounts in the Statement of Comprehensive Income or Income Statement and the Statement of Owner's Equity. So that's why um, the date written in the Statement of Comprehensive income and statement of owner's equity is for the period of because all the accounts there are temporary or nominal accounts. So example of temporary or nominal accounts are the revenues, expenses, 
or withdrawals. And there is also another type of account. Actually, this is a general ledger account, so, which is called the contra account. This account is used to reduce the value of a related account. It allows the company to report the original amount and also report a reduction so that the net amount will also be reported. Have you observed the sample of financial statements of learning is fun? You can find um, account receivable less allowance for doubtful accounts. Okay, so allowance for doubtful accounts is an example of contra asset accounts. Okay, so these accounts is used to reduce okay to reduce the account receivable okay so there are four types of contra account the contra asset account the contra liability contra equity and contra revenue this is the end of this particular topic in statement of financial position thank you for watching this tutorial video their students don't forget to like our youtube channel bright minds click the notification buttons for new videos to come be encouraged and study better thank you and good day